Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Hanging out in my house down near Spawn. Can you see Spawn back there? You can see a Spawn tree. Um, today, we're going to work on the basement. Actually, we already have worked on the basement. Imagine that. <laughs> and a storage system for down below. A storage system you might recognize from me and from somebody else. Woohoo. Um, but first... I did some, uh, let's see, skelly grinder work, sitting at a skelly, skelly spawn and killing them to get some appropriate tools because I was sick of having crappy tools on this server and crappy armor. Look at my armor. Protection one, protection one. I've died twice in this, in this last day on this server and it's so sad. Skelly's just wrecking me and killing me and taking my stuff and killing me again because I can't get my armor back but I made some shoes these are gonna be the shoes that I'm gonna keep forever um, I'm gonna get a feather falling four and put them on here when I get the time or actually when I find the feather falling four so other stuff that I have done I'm gonna have my shoes that I'm gonna keep I have made the awesome diamond pickaxe I'm gonna just repair this over and over again. I have made the awesome sword. I might want to get on breaking three on the sword, but it doesn't really matter. I don't kill that many things. They just kill me. I have the awesome bow, but this is the bow I had before. <laughs> I uh, made this one much better and I ended up getting silk touch, so at least I can get grass and stuff on here. I think probably melons with that. The decent awesome diamond axe. The baby. The baby has been born. Look at this. Fortune 3, efficiency 5. That, I, if I ever die in lava with that, I'm going to rage quit this game. That right there is my perfect fortune pick. Love it. <clears throat> Can't do much better than that. And I have some um, more stuff. Ah! I always think I got to hit F5 twice to get out of that. I have more stuff ready to be... Um, melded together with the, uh, geez, which is, uh, with the anvil, yes, the anvil. Um, I'm going to combine the unbreaking three, the power of five, and the punch two, and make uh, another bow, and retire this one. And I'm going to put an infinity on it. I don't know if I need to, we'll see. So, actually, that's the only other one I want to do. So, when I get the um, levels to combine those, which I will, because now that I have the Fortune 3 pick, I want to go mining! Okay. <laughs> there I go again with the two. It's a two hits. And down here, I've worked on something uh, a little bit. I have finished my basement off. I don't think it's complete because I'm going to break this up a little bit, make it, um, you know, put a line in here of a different color wood or something, break it up. But look, the basement is dark and dingy. I don't know how well this is coming across on YouTube, but um, I'm going to break up the floor also because the floor is kind of... Well, we got the dark and dingy walls, but the floor is kind of plain Jane. But I do want only half slabs down here, so I'm going to put some cobble slabs and some call stone brick slabs down here uh, I don't know if I can get slabs with that I don't think so and while down here there's light you know because of the hash slabs and the stairs light will come through a little bit so it lights it up a little bit gives it that eerie feeling I think I might do a little light over here that brings some more eerie feeling stick of the glowstone back there and have um, some light emanating from the corner here I don't need it to be too dark and dingy but I grew up in New England, and the house that I lived in for, I don't know, 10 years in Salem was built in, um, what was it? Oh, I don't want to say the wrong date now. Shoot. But it was built so long ago that the foundation for the house were, was rocks. It wasn't actually cement or concrete. The floor in the basement was wood, not wood, um, dirt. It was built, oh, damn. It has a, 
in Salem, Massachusetts, the very old houses, the oldest houses, there's a tour that you can do in Salem, and it brings you by each of the old houses, and our house had a plaque on it with the year that it was built, and I want to say it was 1632, so it was like 400 years old, um, and it was really creepy, it had like all, all the woodworking inside the house was handmade, because back then everything was done properly, <laughs> with the, with that type of stuff at least, and I kind of wanted to get the feeling of that basement in here. Well, if I really wanted to, this would be all dirt, but um, it was really creepy. And we'd go downstairs in the basement and there'd be old artifacts down there. And there was like five or six urns down there with people's ashes in it. Then I had no idea whose ashes they were, but it's like, I'm not going to mess with those. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I loved Salem, Massachusetts, but that's a different story. I like the creepiness of it, and anything can happen at any time, which was really cool. I used to drive a cab in town, quick story, and at night, I would just have random people, they'd jump in the cab, and they'd be like, just drop me off at a cemetery. I'm like, why do you want to go to a cemetery? Well, I'm not from around here. I want to be in the cemetery at night, so I can say I hung out in the cemetery at night in Salem, where it's all haunted and stuff. And I'd be like, okay, have fun, here you go, have fun in your cemetery. Yeah, weird things would happen in that town, but that's okay. Tourist economy. And the other thing I built back here, sorry for that delay with the story. Uh, yes, another one of these. This is the uh, slip gator storage pod thing. Uh, revamped a little bit. I haven't put my storage in here yet, but my overflowing inventory from building the thing above me is in here. It's going to be pretty simple. Um, again, kind of hidden, not known. And instead of having the button here, um, I redid the redstone via a video that I saw. So it would be easier just to hit any one of these buttons. The only problem with these buttons is I'm not 100% sure which way is front. So sometimes I try and jump off into that wall. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Hilarious. So, yeah, I, I look up and I go, okay, door is that way. Let's go that way. So, there we go. Um, so, I'm going to fill that up, which means I'm going to finally get supplies and, you know, have a good amount of stuff. For some reason, I thought there was a creeper over there to um, work with. And I just want to show you one more thing before I go. Uh, which I'm pretty happy about All right, I'm back at the uh, spawn center. This is the main spawn um, portal and I the thing I had put a chest down here filled with gunpowder They've used up a lot of it, so that means I did a good job, so I'm rather happy about that So I'm gonna do some work some stuff and things <laughs> Gonna say that when I put the slip gator um, storage pod into my house because I gotta be doing stuff and things and we'll be back with something don't know what I'm gonna do yet I have it written down somewhere but I've forgotten what it was since I've hit record but I'm gonna work on something and I'll be back and I'm gonna show you what it is alright so I'm back at my base and I've uh, changed my floor like I said I was going to down here to something a little more Wow. Okay. There must be some sort of bug in this game. So everybody, I have... <laughs> okay. For those that don't know, I've been putting stairs down here, and when I logged on, I had put some stairs on here, logged on, and when I... Um, well, I put some stairs on here last night, Logged on this morning, the stairs were gone, and I replaced the stairs about 10-15 minutes ago. Did some uh, mining, because that's why I have oops, a torch in my hand. Let me put that back. Um, and the stairs are gone again. So I don't know what's going on. I thought initially it was just a prank, because if I fall in here and I don't have blocks, I'm in deep doo-doo. <laughs> But I guess maybe stairs aren't going to be going in there. 
There's a little weird bug with stairs down there. Um, let's see. I'll put some of this down there. Wherever the stairs are. Oh! I just did not want any spawning um, patches anywhere. So I figured what would happen if I stuck a torch down here. That's not a torch. I guess I gotta get the torch out of here. I'm still like figuring out what this 1.9 stuff's all about. <laughs> um, does this brighten things up at all? It does a little bit. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe that's the whole reason why, um, hmm, I'm doing this in the first place was because I was going to be unhappy with the basement and want to change things up to find myself a new way of doing it. I actually like that. I'm going to do that for all these places now. Um, I'm one of those that very much believes that everything happens for a reason. Even the frustrating stuff that will, makes you want to bang your head off the wall. Well, not literally, but figuratively. And this might have been one of those. So why not? It's kind of weird. It's almost a little too... Hmm. Let's stick one right here. I was going to say it's almost a little too patterny over here, but we need one over here to f finish. Well, I got two torches, so we'll do two more. Well, we can throw one right there. Actually, that's, no, that's good. That's good. Let's see what this looks like. Unintentional building <laughs> on this. Uh, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna oh, keep that. Let me know if that's a little weird. If it is a little weird, I'll change it. Oh, weather skeleton farming, eh? Okay, so let me know what you think of this. I guess I can't put stairs down. I mean, I could do something like this. I hear skeletons running around. It's probably going to have to be cobblestone. Um, yeah, that's a little weird. I'm going to do this uh, another time with cobblestone. But that is what the basement looks like now. Let me know what I can do to make it better. Um, I've decided that I am... Well, that might be a secret. This is going to be my torture chamber, and you will see who my torturer is. Torturer is going to be. All right, I'm going to do um, a little fixing up of this tunnel down here. So, I don't usually do building stuff on camera or whatever you want to call this. I always thought that was a weird term, but I do want to. Um, Make this tunnel look a little bit better. And I was thinking of doing something along, along the lines of not that. Along the lines of this. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's done. That is just absolutely beautiful. You know, just a stripe down the side. I, <laughs> I have a plan. I said this in the very first episode I came out here. I have a plan of making some sort of elaborate door. Um, maybe even a three... Oh, maybe I'll learn how to do the nine big door here. Hmm, I don't know if I want to <laughs> go through that. But yeah, I think I'm going to look into building a piston door here. Um, something maybe I could throw into a hopper. 
a hidden entrance but you know what's the sense though because um it's not like i'm going into a building i'm going through the to the other side so a piston door wouldn't actually make sense here because i'm not really keeping anything out or in it's just a tunnel so well I'll, I'll do a piston door on something else there there's my promise in this series i will do a piston door somewhere else and um instead of cutting out the whole thing let me show you what i have in mind for no 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 you just didn't do that did you that is what we want. Yas, yar. Then up here, I guess I shouldn't be using my fortune pick on that. You can barely hear my my chicken cooker over there. I am gonna do a thing like this. I guess I should feel it well. I'm going to be replacing those blocks anyways. That looks kind of weird there. That looks kind of weird. So I'm going to replace the rest of this, see what it looks like. So I uh, finished out the whole ledge. And I'm thinking of doing it for this side too and maybe even the ceiling something like that at the top and the bottom yeah so i'm thinking of maybe doing this the whole way down on both sides and the top having the row down the center of this um gonna have to get some more spruce and i think i might just replace this um the floor with um grass and just have grass going through this whole thing I have uh, completed the work in the tunnel. Um, I finished the rows of the wood on the bottom and the rows on top. I think it looks okay. <clears throat> it's not the best tunnel in the world, but it does the job. And I think I'm going to expand on this um, look for when I finally make this area look good. So that is going to happen in the future, not this video, but um, there are a couple of darker spots in this tunnel, um, like right there is a spot where something can spawn. It's kind of weird with the, um, look at the light, right now it says 7, usually 7. I think mobs can spawn then when you go to a block that doesn't have um, the grass on top it goes to zero so I don't know if mobs can spawn on this new type of surface or not but it's kind of the same um, light color that you would have on like stairs and stuff so that's something to know can mobs not spawn on this path block hmm interesting and also um, I added something to make my life a little bit easier okay a lot easier <laughs> when I go through the um, portal here I come out with my portal but I added a pathway and not only did I add a pathway this was the original way down and for some reason just like in my basement I've put down stairs here two or three times and each time I this chunk unloads and loads back up the stairs are gone so um, I've lost a stack and a half of stairs because of this already so I don't know if there's a corruption in the world or what but I'm not putting stairs there right now, <laughs> but that row right there next to it um, is where the stairs go. And these blocks, when I carved this out initially, you make mistakes and you hit other blocks. I've replaced these blocks, these um, netherrack blocks, 
so I know exactly where to put the stairs. And they stay, but when I put the stairs on them, they go. So that's kind of weird. Um, so I, I'm going to actually talk to King, the person who runs the server, and see if that is just a weird... Um, what, snapshot thing? Or if something... If there's a corruption going on in the server that I don't know about. And so... I got sick of continually going down underneath here to go to my other portal. So I made this going across to my new portal, which brings me directly, you will see, to my house. So now on the second floor of my house, my spawn portal, I have a portal that will get me right to where I need to be in the nether and then I can just run across to there to get to my other house and if I wanted to, whoops, um, if I'm down there I can climb up this ladder but this ladder goes down to the spawn room so that's what I've done I made this so people could access I guess I should replace that with netherrack uh, nether brick I got nine. Ooh, I'm one short only two oh god I'm two bricks short of making that complete and you can just walk across this because it's there's ladders there so you don't actually fall down unless you stopped and he starts sinking down the ladders so having the access to go to my spawn house is also saving me a bunch of time because then I don't have to run across this whole area to that over there, which is probably a hundred blocks away, maybe a little bit more, and saves my time. One thing I wanted to show you real quick. Oh, I don't even know my way downstairs. I, well, I actually kind of wanted to check this on video just to see if it's working. Okay, yeah, see, these things stay here. So, you remember when I had the stairs down here, they disappeared. So I wonder if it's something to do with cobblestone stairs. It's very weird. This guy's bugging me. Thank you. Oh, there's another one up here. Come here. I've changed the flooring again down here, or at least the lighting of the flooring. Um, it's now all no blocks underneath this top block with some torches in random areas. It lights up the whole floor. Looks a little bit better than uh, that type of deal on the floor. And I guess I'll reveal you the main reason for this room is that every couple of blocks, like right there, right there, right there, then right there, right there, right there, every other block, I'm gonna have a villager. And this is gonna be the villager torture chamber. We're gonna torture villagers with emeralds and buying stuff. And this is where I'm gonna house them. But, because there are no villagers <laughs> in my world here or I mean there are villagers on the snapshot other people have villagers I don't have any villagers so I need to breed them and I need to catch a couple of zombie villagers which I've actually never done and seeing that there's doors down over here I can't make a breeding area down here but this will be where they finally end up once they are trained to trade the right trades for me and for other people on the server. Um, so I said I was going to work in the Mesa. That's where I'm going to put my villager breed, um, breeder. I have a place near my dock where... Um, I get my clay from 
And it's a hollowed out mountain. Hollowed out mountain. And where it's hollowed out, I'm going to put the villager breeder in there. And so it can breed up villagers while I'm hauling out the mountain even more. <laughs> but first, I gotta catch three zombie villagers. And I've never done that, but that's all the next episode. That's where the series is going. Two villagers. Yeah. That's either um, a negative thing or a positive thing, depending on if you like villager trading stuff. So I've done some more work around this place um i don't know if i've shown you this let me go show because this episode's basically done nothing major was done today but a lot of little things i got rid of the extra supports and um i think i made the bridge look a little better than it did before it was kind of plain jane i don't know i might add a thing of cobble half slabs going up and down and maybe down for supports into the walls or something but this is one of those projects where I'm just gonna do a little bit every day until it's <clears throat> what I like because right now the bridge is still not what I like it's not what I like so I'm gonna keep refining it until it is something that I do like and I changed the bridge in here also just uh, slightly so I changed this bridge up here, out here, I added the supports in to make it uh, look sturdier or something, but I forgot that um, now fences and stuff look like this, or even glass, instead of having the, the cross shaped look, has a single pole running up. And it doesn't look as bulky as I uh, expected, but I think it is a nice little addition. And uh, it's made me realize that this, this 33 right here, Larry Bird's number, is the only iron I have left on this server. So I'm, I need to go get some iron. Ugh. Maybe I should build an iron golem farm once I get some villagers going. So yeah. And you see, I even though um, I only have 33 iron, I've wasted some on an iron hoe. And the reason for that is over here. Yes, at my base over here, I have um, worked a little bit on my farms. They're not complete. I'm going to do the walls like I have done this wall, these walls, and uh, make them look better. But the first layer, I got the cows going, and I got to get some sheep and pigs and something else in here. <laughs> Don't know what the something else is, but on this layer, I have made the uh, farm, and that's why I keep a hoe on me. Keep a hoe. I haven't figured out how um, I'm going to move around here, but there is going to be um, things covering the water supply. This is not by any means done. I found a ravine back there I should explore. Hey, iron. I said I was need some of that. Um, <clears throat> so the walls will all be done up. I kind of wish... Um, I had more room in the ceiling at the beginning part. And I'd, I'd do it up. Because as you see, that's where the cows are. Or maybe that's where... This is where the cows are, actually. On this side. Because I haven't put it with grass yet. So eventually, when I get all the crops up to this level um, <clears throat> and complete, I will start uh, harvesting it properly. I'm going to put the pistons with water behind it to flow down, just like my single player world. And this is for the villagers, and I also cleared out the section over here, same spiel. Um, and I just got to, you know, fix the walls and fix the ceilings. I don't know what I'm going to do for the ceilings yet. Because this ceiling is where the animals are treading above me. So. <laughs> and the worst thing about this. And this is an OCD thing. Um, and I apologize for this. The, the water lines up here. The line above lines up here. I'm off by one. 
But I guess it kind of works because I have the two wide opening here. The left side could be the water and the right side can be the line. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna move away from that noise for a second. So yeah, this is basically uh, done to make crops. So over here, I'm gonna have potatoes. And I was thinking of doing um, beets, beetroots. Um, interesting story. I ended up getting one beetroot, beet seed um, on the server. And the very first one I planted and matured, I clicked it and I didn't get any more seeds. I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate because once in a while when you break crops and stuff, you get no seeds. So I'm like, well, that's an unlucky thing. So I got another one and I was able to get nine um, things out of it. Nine beets. And I wasn't like getting more seeds and I was like, what the hell is going on? You know, you start with one seed for wheat and you can make yourself a, a field of 10,000 wheat eventually. Because for every uh, crop you harvest, Oh, I got rid of the farm over here um, to make it look better. But when you harvest seeds for from wheat, uh, you get 1.8 seeds from each one. So you end up with more seeds than you started with. But when you harvest beetroot, you get 0.8 seeds. So that means if you start out with 100 plants of beetroot, there's a beetroot there. There's my nine. Um, eventually you will run out of seeds because you're not getting um, a seed per plant which kind of reminds me of the jungle jungle wood issue uh, with the saplings because you tend to have a hard time keeping jungle wood around if uh, you're not careful with the saplings so we gotta uh, figure something out with that I gotta light this up and I'm going to put the artificial lighting in here. I just need some pumpkins. <laughs> and, you know, pumpkins aren't a high priority on my thing right now. So I don't know um, if beetroot is going to be a good sustainable crop. But from what I understand, if you have a fortune item, uh, you will get more seeds. But in a farm like that, I'm not going to be fortuning. I'm just going to be letting water go. So I'm going to be losing out seeds. So yes, uh, I also hinted at another thing for the next episode. This, um, where is it? There it is. Jungle wood, jungle wood, jungle wood. This map has no jungles. So how did I get a jungle wood? That is a question for next episode. So figure out how I get jungle wood in the next episode watch me make villager breeding above my head over there in that mesa because there's too many doors around here and I don't want any doors around where I'm gonna be doing the villager breeding and it would be a good excuse to ex excavate that mountain so I have lots of building blocks because I haven't built built with clay too much because I live in South Florida and to me the clay in this game reminds me of the colors of the buildings and houses that Mediterranean feel that is wonderful but if you live in that area or where I am it gets boring um, that old Mediterranean look but that's next episode this episode I am happy that you watch me build my basement work on my bridges and other workings and the farms I basically finished or made it so that they're working and all I got to do is uh, put in the walls but I got some chopping to do get some good wood yeah I said I'm gonna get some good wood but till next time this is KMA's Corner have a good day